Good evening, everybody. Um, just kind of a quick shop update. Uh, got some electricians in today to do some work. So I've got my arc welder now has a plug over on the wall, over by the, the breaker box there. Sorry, I got my furnace going. I installed that fan I've been planning on installing for a long time. So I know it doesn't have a light bulb. I'm not planning on running one. And they've got hooked up to a, a dimmer switch there for me to turn it on and off. So that's awesome. Uh, the main thing for the video though, um, I got a new tool that's been on my wish list for about a year now. Um, a new girlfriend, Laura Lee, got it for me. And um, this King Canada belt sander here, I've been looking for one for a while and kind of just keeping an eye on for sales and she found a good sale. So um, I've been wanting this for doing like my metal art stuff and kind of sometimes I find some of the grinder wheels and whatnot are a little too aggressive. Uh, for cleaning what I want. So I wanted something for what's a little lighter. So um, I was trying to think of ways I could mount it. I used to have my bench grinder and my drill press on um, uh, stands that I had made. And when I got this belt center, I was like, okay, what can I do to mount this? So I just made this quick little bench. I had all this lumber left over from other projects. That's why I like the tops two pieces because I didn't have a piece big enough to... Um, just make it with one piece so just it's all scrap lumber so i didn't have to go to the lumber yard for anything so this way i actually have some room to mount or sorry to um store my my blocks on my jack stands um so i actually freed up a little bit of space over there which is kind of handy i'm sure i'll fill out soon enough um i also this weekend i'm going to pick up i found a master craft for us canadian people uh four drawer intermediate cabinet that's going to fit perfectly between that snap on and boxes and it was 40 bucks so i was like you know for 40 bucks even if i don't end up using it for tools i could maybe mount it and put it with this dolly that i have over here and store some of my metal pieces so for 40 dollars either way i'll be able to find a use for it so anyway so i built this bench and then i was trying to think of a way to uh maybe make it so i could use the belt sander in two different ways like this way but then if i wanted to turn it around so i have the like the, the long bay, uh, belt facing me if i have a long piece i need to put on there and i come up with this idea on the bottom here that's actually a wheel hub from a like a jk wrangler um it was from a guy a buddy of mine I helped him change it and that was his trashed one i was gonna make something out of it and then i got the idea to make this turntable so what i did was i just um routered a, or not sorry routered jigsawed a hole in the top of the bench to make it flush and then underneath the metal here i don't know if you can see it very good yeah it's not gonna crawl underneath but i got some plate steel and you see it's bolted it's kind of clamped down and then i welded that chunk of steel that was actually part of my old homemade uh, welding bench or welding table welded that to that and now i had to drill a hole in my brand new tool but if i pull this pin out this rotates and i just drilled another hole here in my bench so now and it's not going to go anywhere so and this actually if i pull this out this thing will spin 360 degrees so i could go that way if i want to i don't have a locking pin for it that way yet but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um if i need to i'll just drill a hole back here and put a pin in it just kind of lines up perfectly of course where i drilled the holes for all the cords to go so but that spins nice and free so like even the bearing was kind of going on the Jeep, it'll be perfect for this. So I've got all the cords, I drilled holes just to run the cords all down. And so now instead of having that little shelf that I had, um, I just keep my drill tap and stuff here, my oil. So anyway, that's gonna work really good. Um, I just hung some pieces for the belt center on the wall there. I'm hoping that I'm still gonna be able to get my Jeep roof up or my Jeep door up there. As we're gonna find out, cause I hang it, you know, above there, so. We'll see, I'm still kind of playing with it. Um, down the road, I'm even considering maybe making a, uh, like a drawer to go here. If I find there's some some stuff that I want to put, I can maybe make this like homemade drawer, kind of like I did in my workbench over there, try and maybe make them a little nicer looking, but um, yeah. I think that pivot kind of turned out good. I just kind of pulled that idea and design out of my ass, like I normally do, but uh, once I figured out how to like how I was going to mount it, it really took me about an hour to kind of whip it together. A lot of that was just figuring and engineering and stuff like that. And then naturally, to make it more difficult for myself, I already welted the plate on before I went to mount it. So it would have been a lot easier to me to get to the bolts if I didn't have that plate already on there, but not a big deal. 
So, and it's like, it's not, it's not going anywhere. So worked out pretty good. And I've been happy. I was happy to get a King Canada one. I've got a King Canada drill press. I've got a King Canada grinder. I've got a King Canada air nailer. I've got a King Canada trim saw. So for me, they're good enough. And this comes with a two year warranty. So I can't really complain. It was a gift, so it's even better, but I'm, I'm definitely be putting that to use. Um, I'm really excited. So I think that bench turned out pretty good. I whipped that bench together pretty quick as well. Sorry, my finger got in the video as normal, but uh, you know, it's solid, it's even level. So, um, you know, it'll, it'll work. I kind of do miss the stands but I haven't cut them apart completely because I might change my mind and want to put those back on stands. And I originally made this bench a little taller. It was eight inches taller. But then I kind of just test fit the tools on there and I'm like, it's not, wasn't really a very comfortable working height. So I decided to uh, kind of lower it down a bit. I do kind of wish the drill press was up just a touch higher because I'm a pretty tall guy, but I can make that work. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't really got any other new tools for a while. Um, next weekend or next week, Princess Harbor's got a sale. I, they've got a um, like a bearing puller kind of hub grappler type kit on sale that I'm going to go grab. Um, I've had one on my wish list for about a year or so, and I got to tear apart the front end of my Jeep and I'm worried that those bearings might be kind of rested on there. So having a slide hammer and a kind of like a bearing puller kind of handy. So I'll pick that up and there's my new hood light that I made in my last video. I have it just hanging up there. And so toolbox, I've been doing some toolbox shopping and I've just decided now that I've got that intermediate cabinet coming, I'm going to shuffle some stuff around, but for the most part, what I've got that I want to get, I can make it fit uh, with what I've got. So um, I'm just going to probably not buy a new toolbox unless like the per absolute perfect one comes along. I'm just going to stick with what I got. I really kind of more I've been thinking about it. I kind of want to stick with this retro look. And once I get that intermediate cabinet for over there, it'll make that a lot taller. And I think it'll look kind of cool. So and it is red too. So bonus, it's red and vintage and you know, bonus. So anyway, I'm going to shut her down for the night. But yeah, my new welder, they put a new uh, uh, power cord on it for it. I took the top of it off so they could do that and vacuum all the the uh, cobwebs and stuff out of it. But, you know, I'm looking forward to using that welder. So with the uh, cord, it's just got a short power cord. So the uh, welder itself kind of will go basically to where the edge of this um, dog bed is. But with the cords on the welder, I can be standing basically in the middle of my garage. That's how far the cables will reach. So that's plenty. I was originally going to get an extension cord made so I could go out to the uh, like to the overhead door, but I said the likelihood of me having to do that is not a big deal. And if I do want to down the road, I can always get one either at a store or get the electricians to make me up one. So anyway, next project free me tomorrow night or the day after, or maybe next week I've got a day to myself. And a fiberglass this water tank back together. Got the tank for free. I've got fiberglass in the cupboard here. So I'm just gonna quickly patch that up for a rain barrel for this spring. So, oh, one more quick thing. So I've just said in my videos before, my little girl likes coming out here. She's four and about, well, she'll be five this October. So she's had those little tools for a while. And I started giving her some of my old SCE tools that I don't need anymore. Um, cause I reduced, I went down one vehicle. So I rent down, uh, one toolkit that I needed. And she's always, you know, likes going in my toolbox and pulling the drawers out and looking at my tools. So I went ahead and asked her the other day if she'd like a real toolbox of her own. So I had my, that was my first toolbox and I had my brothers that I used to use as a toolbox and I had some of my metal stuff in it. So what I did was I took her down to the store and we picked out a color and some butterfly stickers and some of these stickers don't want, are not wanting to stay, which isn't the big, big deal. We can always go get more stickers, but she picked out the metallic kind of raspberry purpley color and she really likes that. And I think that that toolbox has been painted about 10 times or six, five times or whatever. So it's got some runs in it. She doesn't care. And then, you know, just some of my old tools in there. So she likes having her own toolbox. And so that's officially Michaela's toolbox. So she's pretty pumped. And she said she needed to have it on the bottom of that cupboard so she can get to it. So, you know, anything for the monkey. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if anybody has any comments about that, um, belt sender bearing 
questions or if you've built something similar, um, I'd like to hear about what you kind of rigged up. I'm always kind of, you know, I don't always have money to go buy something fancy. So I can be pretty imaginative sometimes with what I can do with my scrap when I'm kicking around. And I'm, you know, sometimes I don't throw things out just because, hey, I might be able to make something out of that someday. So that was a chunk of steel that I picked up from the farm and used this already been repurposed twice now. And then that bearing, I helped the guy change it and he bought me supper. That was my fee. And it's just been sitting in my scrap pile since like before Christmas. So it worked perfect for what I wanted to do. So anyway, uh, yeah, if you found any, if you've ever designed something like that or even have any suggestions or tips I could make to do to maybe make this bench a little bit more functional for storage and stuff, Feel free to comment. The only other thing I thought maybe I'd doing is maybe sliding it over a little bit more, but not the end of the world. I still got some room over there for something. So, all right. Thanks for watching and everybody take care.